All right, we're back at it with multiplying two-digit numbers by two-digit. This is the second day of doing this, so I might go a little bit more quickly on the, the first one to just kind of review. Again, this is how you do a two-by-two two multiplication. So if you had 67, let's do 67 times 18. 67 times 18. I just want you to watch this one again. You don't need to you don't need to do anything with this. The next one you'll have to write down, but just watch to make sure kind of anticipate what you're supposed to do and see if see if you're following along. You can use your charts if you don't know your facts. Use your charts, but please don't use a calculator. Okay? So you have 8 times 7. That's where we start out with cuz you're first you're going to do 8 times 67, then you'll do 10 times 67. So 8 times 7, that might be one you might need your chart for. 8 times 7 is 56. You put the 6 here. The little 5 goes up top. The little 5 goes up top. Next up, we have 8 times 6. Again, a little bit more challenging of a fact, but it is 48. 8 times 6 is 48. 48 plus 5. And again, if you're not comfortable, you can always write it over here just to check to see what it is. 48 plus 5 is 53. So you have 536. That's what 8 times 67 is. Then the next one, we're going to really do 10 times 67. So you put your 0 here, as always. And then whenever we're multiplying by 1, you won't need your charts for those because you have 1 times 7 is 7. 1 times 6 is 6. That was from the previous one. So you've got 670. The next step you do is to add them all up. So you do 6 plus 0 is 6. 3 plus 7 is 10. Again, you take treat this like just a regular addition problem where you put your little 1 right up top. Then you do 1 plus 5 plus 6. That would give us 12. So your answer to that one is 1,206. 1,206. Again, I just wanted you to watch this one. For today's problem that you're going to work out, and you can do this on the same piece of paper that you did yesterday's problem, we'll, we'll do another problem. Let's, let me get that up there. So let's do 64 times 28. So I'd like you to do 64 times 28 on your uh, uh, piece of paper. Again, it could be the same paper as yesterday. Um, so do that on that. It's okay to use a lot of paper. It's okay to use your chart on the inside cover of your math journal. Uh, just don't use a calculator. So what I'm going to have you do is once you get this problem down, I want you to pause the video. So pause the video right about now. Um, at, at, or just wait just a sec. At, pause it. And then um, after you've solved the problem, then hit play again so you can see if your answer is correct. So, I'll, so right now, I'm going to start the problem. So you should have finished it on your own already, and you're just checking it right now. So we'll start out with 8 times 4 is 32. So the 2 goes down here. The 3 goes up top. 8 times 6 is 48. 48, 48 plus 3 is 51. So check this row. If this row's off, your whole problem would be off on that. And then the next one, we're going to do 20 times 64. So 20 times 64, I put a 0 here. And then you put 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 6 is 12. Okay, again, check those rows to make sure they match up. And then the next step is to add them. You get 2, uh, you get 9, and then we add this, we get 7, and we get a 1. So 1,792, 1,792. So double check. Again, yours should be, very, it should be identical in all these. And then make sure you had a number up there as well. So that's what that should look like. So this one you should have had on your paper copied down. So again, I'll leave it for a sec if you want to um, uh, just make sure you get everything copied down. Okay? So good work with that.